What you know here is the monophonic output of trigger matrix, which goes from here to here, from here to here. It's connected to Nord Drum 2, which is a virtual analog hardware drum synthesizer. And it's connected to TIN Output 4. This is the monophonic part of Trigger Matrix. On the polyphonic part of Trigger Matrix, I go to USB 1, and USB 1 goes into Ableton Live, and into, into Ableton Live there are four five Wii stations in, which are virtual analog synthesizers, of course. Okay, that's polyphonic, here starts monophonic, and we have a complete drum set. Okay, it's over. Let's go to the snare. Where is it? Here is the snare. Okay. What happens when I activate this and this? Okay, you hear the sound. It's rolling. Now press shift and... Why sound it other than this sound? Why this rolling sounds other? Because... This are when you press shift and press some buttons. My shift button is a bit, a bit broken, sorry for that. Ah. Son of a bitch. Ah. Okay. Blue ones are all the drum sets from Ableton Live. It's the trigger output. So where's the loud one here? Here is. Okay. The blue ones are on USB 2, and let's go into Ableton Live. To have the live, I have um, connected a, a drum bank which reacts on single notes. So, for example, there is a kick drum and a snare drum and a hi hat, a complete drum set which is perceived on one MIDI channel. On a separate port, which is the trigger output port, which I set to USB 2. So all the blue ones go to USB 2, all the green ones, which are now Tian ones, go to MIDI port USB 1, from here to here USB 2, and on top of it the blue ones are USB 3 for example, so this works. So, I can program snare rolls separately now to different cells of your setup. That's the same of it. Yeah. So, for example, there's a kick drum normally. No, oh, it's here. And it's not green because there's already a set note, which a trigger cell, so green and blue, it gives you Tian, it's color mixing. That's the Nord drum snare, rolling. Now the trigger rolling. Deactivating the trigger rolling.
lost some sounds from the Ableton drum set. Well, nothing is in there now, sadly. Okay. Okay, let's go through some variations. the polyphonic ones are active and one monophonic the kick drum and the snare the rolling snare of, of the trigger channel only trigger channels trigger channels in this axis polyphonic monophonic in this green axis and here we have both set now and if I activate the polyphonics I get the polyphonic output which you know three stations never live and the drum set at mono trigger mono poly poly and mono is green or cyan and the trigger ones are the blue ones which are the two ones <laughs> 